you probably know that forming good habits is good for improving your life, but you may not realize exactly how important it really is and what you can do about it to actually create a habit that sticks. So I'm going to share with you my ideas. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, the channel that brings you stories and tips to help you have more calm, confidence, and clarity in your life. I'm Diane Mocha, and this is my vlog, and I'm talking about the power of habit today because I just started a new habit today, and this is one of them. I'm going to try to deliver a video blog every day, as well as a written blog at workingmomwarrior.com. It just started raining. I've spent like the last 10 minutes trying to figure out the best place to put my phone and in my car, and I never did figure it out because I've got a different car than I had last time. But that's okay because I want to get to the power of habit. I read a book by Charles Duhigg by that exact title, and he talked about some amazing things. Basically, the idea that a lot of what we do in life, maybe 70, 80 percent, is kind of autopilot, what we're used to doing and we don't realize that we're not really making conscious decisions. We don't really have as much free will as we think we do in any given day to make the decisions that control the things that we sometimes go over in our head over and over at the end of the day. Things like what we ate, what we did, how much we got done, if we sat down and scrolled through our phone or watched more TV than we really wanted to. So how do we change habits? Well, I started reading and just recently completed reading a book called Miracle Morning. This was a book that was given to me by a mentor. I didn't even open it for the first couple months because I'm not a morning person, not in the least. I've had late night jobs for a lot of my life and have been a late night person all of my life. And I eventually started this book near the beginning of the year because that's when a lot of us try to implement new habits. And this book talks about six key things that you can do every day that will have a long-term positive impact on your life. And the acronym that the author, Hal Elrod, uses to talk about these things is SAVERS. SAVER stands for S, silence, which is basically meditation. A, affirmation, saying aloud the person that you know you can become. Visualization, which involves a vision board oftentimes. Exercise, reading, and scribing, another word for journaling. So I have been incorporating these six experiences in my life every day. I started doing it when I started reading the book back at the beginning of the year, and I was doing it pretty regularly. I was actually proud of myself doing it several days a week, and it was actually having an impact. I had never created a vision board before this. I had read about it, but I finally created one, and I started using visualization. I learned from another mentor of mine the proper way to do it, not that there's a proper or improper way, but I guess the best way to do it so it can have some impact. And it actually did have an impact because three of the pictures on my vision board have already come true halfway through the year and I'm sitting in one of them. I had two very old, very broken down cars and I was worried a lot about my family's safety in those cars and I've replaced both of those cars. So I'm very excited to be sitting in my Lexus and I have other things on my vision board that I hope to be coming true as well. And so I really realized when I got near the end of this book that I need to do these habits, these six things every day not just most days of the week, but every single day. Make it a habit to do it every day. And part of the exercises of going through all of this is to create what he calls your level 10 vision of your life in 10 different areas, 10 key areas of your life. And so one of the things that I was writing about is my level 10 vision of personal development. And for me, I do a lot of work on my personal development because I listen to audiobooks almost every day, usually an hour a day, and that is the subject that I listen. You could call it self-help books, personal development books, but that's basically what I'm spending a lot of my time listening to, which really helps me with motivation and with directing my energies to things that are going to have positive impacts. 
And one of the ways that I can level up my personal development is to journal every day, something that I want to do and have done at different phases of my life, but not consistently. And I want to share that journal, to spread it to others. So I want to do this not only through a written journal on my blog, but also a video journal through my YouTube channel. And so I'm starting this today, and I'm going to try to do this every day, and I want to help you along in this journey too. We all have good habits that we want to instill in our life, but when you realize that the direction of your life, the direction of every day is probably controlled more by your habits than anything else, it gives you a lot of motivation to change. And also when you realize that you can't just stop a bad habit. A lot of people worry that, oh, how am I gonna have the willpower or I don't have the willpower to create a new habit or to stop a bad habit. You can't actually stop a bad habit unless you replace it with a good one. So if you have some habits, maybe at a certain time of the night, before you go to bed, you eat junk food. If you're trying to control yourself and just tell yourself not to eat, you've got to replace it with something else. Maybe going and working out or eating healthy food instead or reading or something else. So. I am trying to create these two new habits and I'm going to piggyback them onto my miracle morning because I've been doing those six tasks every day for 16 days in a row. I was determined to start doing miracle morning every day no matter what. Sometimes I start it and I don't finish all six but I go back to it. Sometimes I don't even do it in the morning. Sometimes I'm doing it in the afternoon. One day I even did it in the evening but every day I'm making sure to get to all six things. Now the intent is to spend 10 minutes on each of those six and it takes an hour. That's a lot of time especially for working moms. That's a huge amount of time but you can literally just spend one to two minutes on each of these things and it will have an impact. So some days maybe you spend a half an hour. Some days maybe you an hour but many days you only spend six minutes or 12 minutes or 18 minutes try to squeeze it in so I am going to piggyback on the back of that miracle morning when I'm done I'm going to take my journaling and put it on my blog and then I'm going to do a video blog and share it with you so let me know what habits you want to start and how you're doing and what um, help you need to keep those habits going because that's the critical thing. You've got to do a habit. Some people say 21 days, some people say 30 days every single day to make it stick. And so I'm on my 16th day and I'm going to make it through that month so that eventually it sticks and that's the best way to keep the habit going. And even though I'm sitting here with the rain outside on my way to the post office, I stopped to do this vlog and I'm going to find time every day to do it either home or when I'm out or in my car or wherever I happen to be to share with you. And my motto for this channel is to remember to share and spread some of your own love to another mom who needs it. The way I love to do that is through hugging, but we can't hug right now. At least we're not supposed to because of the pandemic. So send some virtual hugs to a mom you know by calling someone or emailing someone or sending a text or a picture to someone you haven't talked to in a while or someone that you know needs a little lift and share that love.